What's going on guys, VPP back with another Game Case Arcade video. On this one today, we're gonna to discuss Bluestacks, what it is, how it works, and how you can download more apps to it. Cowabunga, let's kick shell, pizza power. Now real quick, I wanna make a note about the stand on this one. For Bluestacks, the stand is pretty cool because again, you could go vertical on it. There are a couple apps that you could basically use vertical compared to horizontal, so you'll notice that in the other videos, it'll be a different stand. But for right now, again, we're talking about Bluestacks. Bluestacks right now is an emulator that basically thinks that you have a Samsung Galaxy phone. Um, this is kind of like how it opens up. You have the little menu here where you could actually download more games and such. And again, it's just like the Google Play Store and such. So at the top, you have your game center. This is kind of like helping you find new games or you could go to your library and then you'll find the games that you have uh, downloaded. Uh, so again, it's just like on your phone, you can go into Google Play Store. You could even log in as your own account if you actually have real purchases. And basically you could come here and then you could actually download games and such. So you could either do the free ones or the paid ones and all that. So just try to think of it as your phone. It's literally, it's emulating your phone. So uh, for me, like, you know, it's really a, an endless amount of games that you could put on this because just like your phone, you could literally download a bunch of games. So what I'll do first is that I'll show you guys real quick how to download a game off of like Google Play Store, I guess we could say. It's very easy, it's literally just like, you know, how you would uh, on your phone. Um, we'll just pick a random one, for example. So as you can see, I can literally press the install and it's gonna do its thing, just like it would with your phone. And in all honesty and reality, it's actually downloading it to Bluestack. So again, best thing is like, you know, just let it rock, let it do its thing. And then when it's done downloading, it's gonna wind up in your library. So now the best thing I usually would say is that when you are downloading a game like this on the Google Play Store, I probably wouldn't exit. Um, I would let it rock, but there's actually tabs up top where you could actually kind of go back and navigate. Um, so that's kind of like your tab. So when you do load a game, it actually shows up on the top as a tab. So now that this kind of downloaded, you could press select open um, or it should actually wind up in your library and there it is. So if the open doesn't work, which it should, maybe I have to use a mouse click. Yeah, see, it needs the mouse to recognize the click. Um, but again, it did show up in our home library. So again, anything you download will show up here. And again, keep in mind, I am using a budget setup and we're using a Wi-Fi dongle for this. So it might take, you know, a couple of seconds to load up. I never loaded this app before, so it, let's just see what happens. So there you go. I noticed that like the first time you actually load up the game, it does take a couple, but now it will recognize my finger touches now. And again, it's literally as if it is your phone. That's what's cool about this. Again, it's emulating your phone. You don't have to worry about anything. You could log in and on your phone and on Facebook and all that. And obviously there is audio, so we could bump up the volume a little bit. I don't wanna to go too crazy. And again, as you can see, we're kind of waiting for it to load. While we wait, we can talk about the sidebar here. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on on the sidebar here. Basically, there's a tab here that lets you rotate the screen. So for example, like on Mario Run, which I'll show you in a second, we could actually go full vertical, um, which is the reason for the stand. Uh, but there is other stuff here, like there is a controller option. Uh, some games like Call of Duty, they need like the thumb input, so it will actually let you kind of customize it and such. Uh, other stuff here, you do have like your full screen. Uh, if you do press the full screen, you do need a keyboard handy and the exit at a full screen is F11. So right now, some people might see it and say, oh, I don't like the tabs and all that. So you could actually go full screen. As you can see, press F11 to exit. So right now I can't exit. You would have to use F11 on the keyboard to bring it back. So as you can see right now, I could enter my name. So it needs me to actually like, you know, type on the keyboard and just put a bunch of random letters. And like I said, it's right now literally playing as if it was your phone. Again, Bluestacks, this is an emulator that thinks that you have a Samsung phone.
Android phone, I should say. This is like uh, overcooked. <laughs> I'm not really reading the direction, so. Might as well start cooking, you know what I mean? Oh, this isn't too bad. Cool. And there you have it. Like I said, now you can pause it. It's literally like your Samsung phone. So now the big thing is like, if you wanted to exit this app, you would have to go to F11 to bring back this. And then basically on this tab, you could exit out like that. Uh, real quick, I'll show you, for example, the Super Mario run to go vertical, which is why we would have the stand. So you could definitely play the game horizontal like you see, um, but now that it's loaded up and the game is loaded up, I could go here, press the screen rotate, and then I could actually rotate the screen. Wire is here because my keyboard and mouse that I came with are wired, they are not wireless. And now basically again, you could literally play Super Mario run on uh, portrait mode. Same thing, I could go full screen. The big thing though, like I said, you have to, you need a keyboard handy to exit at a full screen. Just like in my overview video, it's always good to have a keyboard and mouse handy. And luckily with the stand, as you can see, there is enough clearance, even on the rotate, it literally clears it. There's about maybe an inch, inch and a half of a gap. So I haven't played this in a long time. Like you said, it's definitely cool. Blue Stacks, an emulator. This right now took like it's one app, one program, and now you literally have endless amount of games to it. And again, try to think of it as your phone. So, you can jump. Long jump. And it's pretty responsive, I can't lie. Ooh. So same thing, if you are bored, you're gonna press F11, you bring this back, I could bring it back to rotate. I'll play with this for a few, just to show you this. So again, you could still enjoy the game without vertical mode. It's just more about your preference. That's why the stand, the vertical stand is pretty cool, but it's up to you. Again, once you're done playing, you literally exit out of the tab. If you want, you can use the mouse and exit out. All right guys, so real quick, I'll show you how to do APK files off the internet, off of like your web browser. Um, if you don't know what an APK file is, do your research. I won't go too in depth with it. But the big thing is that you do want BlueStacks open in the background. So basically what you do is that you go to your web browser, uh, you go to an APK website, and then basically you're gonna download um, the app. Um, I'll show you exactly what the process is. It's very difficult, not all these work, uh, some do, some don't. But basically what happens is that when you do find it, you should see a window like this to download and it should have the BlueStacks logo here. Basically you just press open and if you like go back to BlueStacks and as you can see our, our windows, uh, our Firefox, the green bar is the download bar. It will automatically go into BlueStacks. That's why you need this open. And as you can see, it's installing the app right now and we're in. It'll open up a tab, and as you can see right now, that was downloading an APK file. Not all of them work, I know for a fact. If you do get an, uh, a, a zip file, I didn't try it, but I would assume you download it, and then you have to extract it, and then double click on it, and it will open up in BlueStacks. But as you can see right now, we are playing an app that we just got off of an APK site. Same thing, we can go full screen. And again, that's the, that's the big thing is that if you do go full screen, you do need the keyboard now to exit out of full screen. Uh, how much money do I have? I have a lot of money. Um, let's just buy one, screw it. And again, they all have sound and audio and such. So again, this is downloading an APK file off of the internet.
And there you have it. We literally are playing a game right now. Awesome. When you're done, you can do F11. Right here, you could tap out. Sometimes it doesn't work, as you can see, but it's because my finger is big, I guess. But there you have it. That is downloading an APK file off the internet. Again, the big thing I do suggest that if you are doing Google Play Store stuff, a lot of people know it, like, you know, for the free stuff, you might as well get it straight off of Google Play Store. If you do want to try to find the hack stuff, um, you could go on to a browser uh, and try to find some stuff like that. It's just difficult to find stuff. Um, some stuff doesn't work. Some won't even be able to work with Bluestacks. Uh, some games, like I did Balloons, it's asking for an update and, uh, you know, you just have to find the right one. Um, but that's honestly the overview of it. Um, real quick, I want to do one more. I'm going to open up the Google Play Store and just see if we could do Temple Run. Um, just to show basically um, portrait mode. I'm pretty sure Temple Run is still free. Yes. So again, I'm downloading a game off of the Google Play Store. Again, you could go back, these are tabs. So you could literally go back to your tabs. You could have multiples open. This specific PC can't handle multiples app, multiple apps open. I wouldn't even try it. Um, but basically this is gonna install and then you're gonna see it's gonna pop up here. So here we are. So that's the thing, like see, once you open it, it kind of spazzes out. It does give you the control window here, so you can kind of customize your controls, but I could go back to full screen or F11. So as you can see, this is a game that we could utilize the tilt on this. So I'm gonna go back to full screen, I'm gonna maximize, I'm gonna go full screen, and we're gonna tilt. So as you can see, there is actually a um, an, an overlay here. Oh, that was my fault. <laughs> There's actually an overlay over here of a button. If you don't like that, you just come here. There's a controller. So as you can see real quick, like there is a controller overlay going on here. If you do want to hide it, there's a little eyeball here. And then basically you could kind of tone down the opacity. That's to do it with the, with the mouse. And you basically now can make it disappear. So now that we're back, I'm gonna tilt back. I'm gonna go full screen so we don't see the edges. And now I'm able to enjoy some temple run. It's cool, it's pretty responsive. Again, this is awesome. It's a touch screen and it's awesome. I forgot to jump. <laughs> and there you go, I got eaten. And when you're done, you could rotate back. Again, it's not an iPad, so it's not going to automatically rotate. It doesn't have the sensors on it. F11, and then basically now we could go to the tab and exit out. Just real quick, last note about Bluestacks. As you can see, when you do download apps, they do show up on your desktop. Uh, so you could basically just take these and just put them in the recycling bin to get rid of them. It doesn't delete from uh, Bluestacks. It's just kind of like a shortcut if you want. So if you want to get rid of them, just delete them off the desktop. That's really the overview of Bluestacks. I mean, again, it's endless, endless games now. It's not just one system. It's one emulator, and you could literally download a bunch of apps to it. So there you guys have it, Bluestacks explained on the vertical mount.